Let's get started. Uh, welcome to another Jobless Marine webinar. Uh, we're going to continue this uh, series of webinars talking just about one brand. In this case, it's going to be Yamaha. Um, same concept as before, who we are, where we're talking about uh, Yamaha. Um, then getting straight to Yamaha, I'm going to switch the pull point into the uh, software demo and then just talk a little bit about our different configurations and, and all that. Anyway, if you have any kind of questions, you have a chat uh, at the end of the session, I will open like you know, a few minutes of Q&A. So if you have any kind of question or anything, I will just read it. And, and that's it. Uh, also, um, if you have any kind of questions afterwards, you know, I will leave our contact details so you can contact us at any time, okay? So let's get started. Uh, deal level diagnostics on Yamaha with Jaltus Marine. I have divided this, in a, as I said, in three parts. Uh, first, the introduction, who we are, uh, what we're talking about Yamaha, what do we do, etc. This is our headquarters in Spain. Uh, the company is called Kajali. Sometimes people get confused um, about Kajali and Jaltus. Jaltus is the diagnostics project within Kajali. These are headquarters where uh, based out uh, Spain, we're a multinational company and we have different divisions. I'm going to highlight the most important ones, uh, like Jaltus, as I said, is like the diagnosis project. We work in different um, industries, different type of sectors. Jaltus telematics and remote diagnostics. So we try, always try to see what's going to come in the future. And in this case, we're leading it because nobody was doing this in the Omex side. Is, telematics and remote diagnostics. First uh, was commercial vehicles, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna apply this to marine in the future if um, um, with the same technology, okay? Then Kajali, Kajali, we manufacture parts, uh, all makes parts, especially for the commercial vehicle side, ag of highway, we have some sensors in common for the marine industry, but it's mostly not for marine. OM Solutions, as we are experts in, in some technologies, some type of products, uh, we don't only manufacture and develop solutions, business lines, etc. cetera, um, with our brands, Chaltest or Kojali, but we sell those products and technology and we manufacture for the companies like including, uh, for example, OEMs, okay? So that inside OEM solutions. And then Jaltest Tools, this is uh, quite a new uh, division, like two years ago with electronic measurement, testing equipment, uh, electronic benches, ADAS calibration for trucks, et cetera. As you have seen, we're a company of uh, technology and innovation. That's why you know most of our uh, colleagues, employees are engineers. We have more than 700 around the world although most of them are in Spain. This is the company timeline. Um, we just did 30 years of anniversary. Um, on the diagnostic side, we have been in the industry for 21 years so far. And then we have three different independent subsidiaries, one in France or in Italy, other the USA where we are, we have been here for 11 years. And then we have some uh, commercial offices around the world um, in four different countries at the moment. Uh, we're pretty much everywhere with our products uh, because uh, we are um, able to um, um, have agreements with distributors that are the one that represent the brand and they're the ones selling to their customers. Obviously, we take care in this case from Miami for the Kajali USA region, which is North America, Central America and the Caribbean. Uh, we take care of the customer support. If you are um, accessing this webinar from another region, you have access anyway to uh, all the contact details for customer support. Let's get straight to bond Jaltus diagnostics uh, for both, um, well, both nodes. So we have inboard, outboard, jet skis, and station engines, but it's both yes, a gasoline and diesel. Here I have two examples with an outboard and uh, diesel inboard. Uh, we have here uh, different projects, as I said. Uh, we have four, and actually we have a new one, a fifth one, because we have recently added. So we have commercial vehicle, ag, of highway uh, marine and material handling equipment that has just been released like a few days ago. Today, obviously, uh, we're going to talk about marine. We're expert in omics diagnostics. Uh, we have been doing this for 21 years so far, so we can pretty much develop anything that has a control electronic unit. And 
marine is, is important for the company. That's why we have diversified, you know, like seven, eight years ago to other industries uh, such as marine. Uh, it's all made all systems, okay? So this is important. It's not just the engine, although it's the most important system. And we try to offer a global solution for all nautical workshops. Okay? We say global solution because it's much more than just diagnostics or advanced diagnostics, dealer level diagnostics with the technical information within the software. Uh, which I believe that we are perform pretty much all the OEM uh, tools because we have it inside within the software, a, a management tool and customer support. Um, we have, as I said before, four different models, inboards, outboard, jet skis, and stationary engines. I know that Yamaha, they have some inboard jet boats. Actually, we're going to add it in the next version. But at the moment, and what is more important for them is we have it in outboards and jet skis. So at the moment, I'm going to talk about jet skis and outboards. The jet boats are propulsion engines. Um, I'm sure we could even connect with some uh, jet skis um, systems. But uh, again, on the next version, we're going to have it. And we're going to focus on what we have at the moment uh, with Yamaha, which are the most important uh, brand and models uh, inside Marine. So Yamaha, I have divided this in three parts or two parts and a sub part, OK? So first of all, outboard gasolines, outboards with electronic levers, because we can connect to this as well, uh, watercraft, uh, OK? So we have two divisions or two sec sections with a subsection okay let's start with outboards uh yamaha okay um one of the outboard world leaders i believe that still mercury is number one but um yamaha i believe it's pretty close um they're all gasoline engines um there's some diesel engines that they used to have in the past uh, but you know very old with no uh, ecm okay just as a you know just the, this curious information, but it's pretty much all uh, gasoline engines, all manufactured by Yamaha, but the ECMs are manufactured by uh, Mitsubishi, uh, just for them, but they're all manufactured by Mitsubishi. On on Yamaha, pretty much we're up to date, you know, maybe a couple of things that I'm going to explain at the end that's coming soon, but it's, we're pretty much up to date with their uh, complete coverage and not just uh, the engine. Okay, so uh, more information we have from 20 horsepower engines to 425 uh, horsepower engines. As you may know, they have two type of engines, two strokes, four strokes. They call the two stroke JPDI and the four strokes EFIs. We have different families, um, for example, uh, biggest ones um, are the, the VMAX, SHO, uh, which are four strokes, which are super high output engines, okay? Uh, important thing, uh, what is the difference between FL, LF, and all that? At the end, it's exactly the same as an F engine. It's just that uh, the, the polarity of the propeller goes either to the right or the left side, okay? So um, we have, for example, if you have two Fs, um, you can use it, obviously, obviously, but you have some kind of small rotors such as this one that you have to adjust or calibrate manually so uh, your your boat goes um you know in any direction and it has a balance okay if you have two engines you have an f and a fl uh, you don't need to do anything but if you have for example three engines you will need to adjust uh, this as more rotor okay um this will depend on the adjustment, you know, the, the technician will, will need to do it depending on the weight, the length, the breadth of the vessel and the, the whole shape, okay? That's uh, so just some information. We have a lot of ECMs on the other webinars with other brands that try to put either all the ECM or most of them. Um, on Yamaha, I'm not going to do it. They have more than 20 different ECMs. You can even have um, the same model, in this case, F-115, but different type of, of models. The ECM can be different. So I just have put one of, you know, four of those just as an example. But the good thing is it's the same communication protocol, is the same connector. Okay, so it is going to make like, um, things easier to technicians. For example, with Mercury, you know, we have, if we include the diesel cruiser uh, engines are not manufactured by them. I don't know, maybe we have seven, eight different cables for, for Mercury. If it's just gasoline, we have like 
four or five different cables. So it's always good and easy if Yamaha they just use one connector. Same thing for jet skis. Okay, so let's get straight to the to the software. Uh, let's do an example. This is the main screen. You access. We have different configuration. I'm gonna explain that at the end. Uh, if you don't want to use, uh, for example, jet skis and stations, you can just go ahead and go with inboard or outboard. Or if you just work on outboard or just jet skis, you can just get that specific software. So you don't need to pay extra money if you're not going to use it. Okay. I know this is a Yamaha uh, webinar, but um, so you can see the coverage uh, on the inboard side. We have 29 brands. We cover diesels, we cover gasoline uh, manufacturers. We can go to the outboard side. It's purely gasoline. We have 12 brands at the moment, including Yamaha, obviously. We have the jet ski side with five brands, including Yamaha. And then we have stationary engines, which is purely diesel. We have 24 brands at the moment. Let's start with uh, Yamaha. I'm just going to click here on the brand. And we have all the families here in all the models. I will select the F series. And I'm going to go to a F225. As you can see, it's a multi-systems, all systems diagnostic tool. It's not just the engine. We have the digital throttle and shift with the command link plus, which is Yamaha technology or the Hellmaster, which is a joint venture with Volvo Penta. You can always click here on the image and you can see uh, what you have. Okay, one is being made uh, with diagnostics. It's like a pairing. The other one is being, doing, is being done manually with a technical release. We're going to talk about that in a few minutes okay let's connect to the engine here you can connect to the connectors help symbol and you will see how you can connect where to find the connector the the red arrow uh, location one potential location two three then we have the bigger image of the connector we have the pinout details and we have the connectors we need in this case we need the jdc 601a which is the yamaha diagnosis connector what happened if we don't have the direct connector we lost it we forgot it or anything you can always use the multi pins which is included inside the hard case it's very easy to understand it is the same way if you're in yamaha or in another manufacturer in this case we give you the pinout for example pin one then you're going to connect the cable uh, the yellow one, the cable B, with the multi-pin JTP7. So it, you just need to connect. We connect through K lines, and then we need to use the external power supply battery cable to use or to provide uh, external power supply to the link interface. I, if you see this symbol in this step or in another watch video, we're going to show you a video of uh, the use in this case of the multi-pin so it's always helpful for the customer so now let's click connect and now we're gonna be connected to the diagnostics menu this is the dealer level functionalities right now we have reading full codes uh, we can see our operation data through system data life measurements active components system jets maintenance resets and data recorder let's start obviously with the reading focal side uh it's not just generic we cover generic and proprietary full codes uh, it's the same structure we're in yamaha if we go to a suzuki Mercruiser, cruiser caterpillar same way of understanding everything and seeing the information so in this case we have an active full code because it's in red we have our proprietary full codes and then we have the description so Yamaha and all the manufacturers they stop here they don't provide additional information and that's why we can outperform most of the OEMs so first thing is the freeze frame data this is obviously related to the full codes okay to the diagnostic side sorry and obviously the full code priority uh, last occurrence uh, date hour etc and now this is one of the things uh, that I like the most from uh, the tool which is the technical information that's included within the software so we can relate at any time diagnostics and technical information and vice versa so in this in this case we give you what are the components that are related to the full code and if you click and see information about the component you will see an image of the component that's related to the full code and the location this is not diagnostics but is necessary and useful for the repair process what else 
go to diagrams. So we're able to provide wine diagrams. So in this case, we have a full coach. We have all the information related to the focal with the components location, you know, image of the component and how it's connected to the ECM. So as you may know, uh, we can have an active focal. That doesn't mean that the problem comes from the sensor or the component, uh, actuator, et cetera. It can come from the wiring. If you don't, don't have this information that's dealer level, we won't be able to analyze uh, what a problem comes from. As you can see, we have a complete list of companies that are connected to the ECM and it's the same structure again in this manufacturer or another. Left and right, we have the components and in the middle, we have the ECM information with the pinout details. So as you can see, it, this is guided diagnostics. That's how we call it. Let's go back to the diagnostics menu. As you have seen, we have all the diagnostics guided process, but we also have potential solution with the troubleshooting guides. We have two of them. One is the troubleshooting by four codes, which is related to the four code, obviously, an electronic situation. And then we have troubleshooting by symptoms. As you have seen, is a step-by-step -step procedure with potential solutions to the situation we have. Every time we see a blue plus sign, that means that we can customize information. In this case, we can customize our own troubleshooting guides by four codes. Okay, so let's get back to the diagnostics menu and we can continue with the diagnostics with all the other functionalities as you have in as dealer level diagnostics and we can outperform in this case the yamaha em with all this technical information integration so uh, let's go back diagnostics menu we have seen all that the guided diagnostics on the full code side we can erase code obviously we could do this here as well um, accessing well you had like a symbol with the trash okay this is the system data uh first we have the ecu data this is what it has been registered by the manufacturer like manufacturer engine type ecu reference okay and then here very important for me to know the state of our engine so for brokerage for, for surveyors and all that uh, you can have your engine operation hours with your rpm ranges and the total this is always uh, important to know. Okay, and now here, what we have is an operation that um, does us more related to some um, critical situations, and we know exactly how much time we have been spending uh, on those situations. Like, for example, engine speed, maximum value, um, maximum revolutions reach, uh, last time we had it, uh, engine overspeed, we have that, that counter, you know, overheating, low oil pressure, so all those things are being recorded in the ECM and we can access all those uh, information, okay? Every time you see a question mark, that means that you can just click, it's like a help menu, or it, it's relating you that diagnostics or sensor or live measurement with the technical information, okay? Okay, so this is system data with all the operation data and live measurements. Here we have our live data selection, okay? Uh, well, these are some triggers if we want to customize this so you can get some kind of small alarm when using the tool, um, when you are reaching um, some kind of values, you know, up or or down, um, you will get some kind of like a, a red light, okay? In this case, I just didn't add anything. We have all the measurements available. You can select everything. You can go by groups, pressure, temperature, time, speed, voltage, uh, et cetera, okay? So I'm just gonna select, you know, uh, so speed, oil pressure, engine temperature, for example, and we have different options, okay? So we have first the numeric value, um, we have here, uh, we can also customize the, the units of measurement. So if you want to put it in imperial systems, how it is right now, or uh, international um, system value, or you want to customize one by one, you just click in configuration, click configuration, then uh, measurements, okay? Uh, what else? Okay, so what I told you before, we have a question mark. What does this mean? So we're relating you the oil pressure sensor with what 
what the technical information why are we able to to provide this information again because it's within the software so that's why it's so so cool so nice and so valuable to have all that technical information and we can go ahead and go from technical information to measurements or vice versa like in this case cool. okay so this is the first option then we have gauges okay we have three options here because we selected three measurements you can see this is this way with gauges and then a graph okay we can graph it um if we have more than one measurement you can just remove it and just add it uh increase decrease go back and forth if we have just surface um 30 seconds and that's it everything we're doing is being saved under a diagnostics report uh with in this case with the numeric value okay when we're with measurements anything we're doing uh diagnostics um, all your codes uh, if we're doing a maintenance reset um, send the code out anything it's being recorded obviously we have to do those both sides in order to be uh, to have all that on the diagnosis report okay in this case if you want as well to do screenshots and add this to your diagnosis report or you want to print it or you want to send it to Jalta's feedback which is one of the options in getting in communication with uh, the engineering department of Jaltes. you can go ahead click into the camera option and that's it just could do an example with the diagnosis report uh, because we can add those screenshots to the diagnosis report and this is a preview you click here, here with the report in the eye and I believe this is um, very very valuable for any company as smaller or, or bigger companies because you will have a record of everything you've been doing and as I told you that we have a management tool that means that we can save everything by user by customer by vessel um, by you know serial number license plate anything it's been recorded and we can save it for free and in the cloud so if your computer gets damaged it's stolen or anything you won't lose all that information you just need to download it in another computer it will retrieve all the all that data okay so you can put your logo in here information date time user because again you can have your login uh, information for each technician or user it doesn't have to be a technician you can be at the office and as i told you everything we're doing uh, we haven't done much so far but diagnostics code uh, operation data information uh, all the measurements screenshots anything's being recorded okay also you can uh, customize this and automatically send this by email for example to your email address so everything you're generating a report if, if you want you can send it uh, without doing anything and the, the software will do it by itself obviously you need the internet for that and you can send it to your email and then send it to whoever you want or you can just ask access the management uh, tool and download it and even extracted this an excel sheet okay so you can also use this as an invoice i'm pretty sure most of our customers will use it but it's available and again here quite uh, we have a plus sign blue plus sign. what does this mean we can customize this okay so if we're doing some kind of of testings or measurements or c trials or anything and we will select the same type of measurements for a specific test you can just go ahead click into the plus sign create a new group you just record it and you will just see it here and you can create as many groups as you want okay let's go back to the diagnostics menu now go ahead with active components this is activate and deactivate uh, some components like ignition coils injectors oil control valve fuel pump uh, fuel feed pump etc okay just activate deactivate uh, with system checks, same thing. We're going to be able to see if the system is working correctly. Even if the problem comes just for a, from a mechanical situation where we won't have any diagnostics code, we can just analyze the results and see if something is wrong. Every time we're doing something, it's the same structure, three steps. Okay, so step one, what we're about to do. Some initial information, that's where we are right now. Okay, step two, initial conditions that we meet we must meet you know to do the functionality and third we do our functionality so here for, we're in step one we tell you what to do we all know what is a single cut out but still uh, we put you do you this information okay so it allows uh, to cut the fuel supply in the selected cylinders uh, independently this actuation may turn on and off the injectors etc 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 
what happens with this with a blue plus sign we can customize our own information so if you want to add a specific information where you're doing that functionality in a specific brand and model every time you access this or anyone in your network access this functionality in that specific brand and model you will see that customer's information okay and you will know who did it and when okay so this is pretty cool so and we are able to do all that customization thing because uh, it comes from the management tool, okay so step one what we're about to do we go to step two initial we need to meet those requirements if you want to do uh, this functionality so engine started obviously if not we're not going to be able to do a certain cutout but still we, we tell you uh, and have the levers in, in neutral position okay if we don't meet these requirements we can happen two things one the software tells you're not able to do this functionality because you don't meet the initial conditions or two you can get the wrong results okay so now we go to step three it's doing that functionality we're going to perform this actuation has finished i just selected one uh, injector you can select more than one and that's it you can also add some notes that will be uh, available within the diagnostics report um, inside the cylinder cutout functionality and, and that's it and also everything that we've been doing it's been the same on the diagnostics report okay so i want to insist on this uh, because it's going to a lot of value because we can't even tell our customers hey uh, i'm doing this uh, for functionality uh, or i'm charging you all that amount of money but look what i have done okay and you to have some control what you have been doing here you have the results okay maintenance so here what we have is the oil change maintenance actually i think we have either a vlog or um case study or both uh, talking about this when we have to do our oil change we need to let the um, ecm know that we have done this this change and that's it also uh, with the display we have to go here you can just go ahead and and add it then you will know now we're in demo mode but you will know uh, the engine hours and all that until uh, the next um, all change okay so uh, maintenance and then data recorder here what we have is um we can do a c trial or we can be at your at our shop or not moving at all but we can record things okay so uh, we were able to do that before with the live measurements but here we're able to select up to 24 measurements and and record up to 30 minutes okay so if we need to record more than 30 minutes uh just go ahead and 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 start to record another session okay and this is very 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 useful because um you can um do your c trial record everything all the measurements when if you had uh, active focus one and then go ahead go back to your shop click play and see what was going on so and this is all makes all system it's not only for for uh one specific brand or one specific system okay I'm just going to say there's three first uh, measurements. I'm going to click play and that's it. Well, click record and that's it. So I can know if I have an active focal in a minute, five, second, 30. I will know that exactly. I will know how the measurements that I've selected were at that specific time. Uh, you can even see this as a graph or as your gauges when you're, when you're recording. Uh, you can even add some notes while you are doing your C trial okay and then when you're done just click into the cross sign you can click accept or to view those results or you can click cancel but you have here your uh record uh, play data uh, i will just show that in in a minute i will click accept okay very simple job is simplicity okay you click play and you will know exactly when you had all those situations your life measurements uh, you can click here and to go to mark to the one you, you added with your notes exactly at that specific time with your live measurements okay you can click to the data player if you want to play some recordings that you did in the past and very important if you want to pull up a report in excel sheet with every measurement uh, if you you know you in this case you have three different columns with all the measurements you have because we have three measurements 
very important you need to save the diagnostic report from the same session okay that's crucial and mandatory then you go into the grp the management tool and then you export the uh, data recording in an excel sheet we have you know, surveyors and some technicians that they have to give the results to their customers so you know you can do it but it's necessary to save the diagnostic report from the same session and not only the data recording okay so okay so let's click finish i click accept and that i'm going to show you very quick the technical information i've been insisting all the time about the technical information why it's so important um we're going to save a lot of time um and we're going to get to the solution um as soon as possible that's okay? so the main objective so we're able to do more services generate more income and provide solutions to our customers or invest as soon as possible okay so remember when we had all that guided diagnostics related to a specific um code okay we take all that information from the system technical data okay you have images location operational values and you can even see display measurements you will go to live measurements remember that before we were able to click into uh the um a measurement we had that uh, question mark and we were able to see the taking information well this is the other direction diagrams already show you the diagrams uh, i'm going to click into check this is the other diagnostic uh, sorry the other report that we can do this is the maintenance report everything is taken from the official manuals okay and you have you know, for example, every uh, 1,200 hours or one year, you can do all the tasks that the manufacturer is suggesting, okay? Like check idle speed, change engine oil feature, uh, check the spark plug, it'll allow you can even add some notes, okay? And you can just click here in the previous symbol and uh, you will see same concept as before your logo, everything, what customer, vessel, user, date, time, and all the tasks that you have been doing. All this is being saved as well in your management tool. And again, I insist your blue plus sign. That means that you can customize your own maintenance guides, okay? So you can put whatever you want to have on your reports and that's it, customized by, by you guys, okay? Technical data also very important oh very important everything we've been doing at, so far you don't need, need internet okay the only situation where you need internet is when you see that little globe like to retrieve for example the technical data or the troubleshooting guides or taking our releases you need internet but for all your diagnostics functionalities and to access your uh, component information diagrams maintenance you don't need internet at all what happens if you're in the water you don't have internet access and you're creating a report you're gonna save that locally, and then once you have internet access, you have just to synchronize with your cloud sharing network, and that's it. So don't worry, you, know, you can do all your diagnostics functionalities without internet. Okay, so technical data. I would say that the most important part of the tiny tools and adjustment and tolerance, but you have different information, which is always useful, like you know, different generic specifications, propulsion systems, uh, fuel systems, fuel, fuel pressure, engine ignition system lubrication cooling system electrical system liquid capacity and quality engine oil transfer case oil and you know tiny tools super important you have all that information we tell you exactly the order we tell you also if you have to apply force or angle and in what different stage so this is super valuable this is not diagnostics technical information and it's within the software if you compare this to the oem software in this case uh, you will use jaltes uh, for sure um, then connecting road cylinder head flywheel okay so pretty much is the same concept if you go to another brand you know you will see this in the same structure even if it's a different manufacturer you don't have to have different manuals and lose time trying to search your information or look that on Google or cause nobody, it's inside the technology software. Troubleshooting, okay, so we have the other guide, as I told you, we had before the troubleshooting by full code. This one is by symptoms. 
more general aspects you won't see things in that much detail because it's more symptoms it's not you know related to a specific electronic situation okay so you can just follow the steps and customize your own uh, troubleshooting guides also for this that is by symptoms okay so uh i will go back to the presentation very quick electronic levers okay i will call this peripheral systems which you know it's not the engine but i want to highlight this is charters marine is more, much more than just diagnostics not just with those extra features but also much more than engine diagnostics okay so first of all the commanding plus which is manufactured by yamaha this you are going to perform it with uh with it you know it's a diagnostic functionality so you connect to an ecm and you're going to perform this functionality okay uh, we call it calibration Okay, but it's more like a learning or a pairing than a calibration. No? For example, in a DTS, it's uh, quite a long process. You know, you have to spend maybe 10 minutes doing all everything. This is more like a pairing, like if you're pairing with your, you know, your Bluetooth device and all that. So with Yamaha, it's very simple and, and it's fast. Then we have the Hellmaster. Okay, so this is code developed by, uh, well, code developed with Volvo Penta and Teleflex. Okay. We would say it's more an elitist uh, than the commanding plus and this has to be performed manually okay so you have to follow some technical releases that are part of the technical information so you know how to perform this a calibration pairing or however you want to call it okay use system scan okay so the system scan uh it's something that if you're connected to a i can uh, i'm gonna just show this real quick here you have your system scan okay so if you have different systems if you're connected to your connector uh diagnostic support everything that's being written from that diagnostic support if you click system scan you will be able to know what's available okay so obviously the Hellmaster won't be there because it's like a fictitious system you have to do with that technical release but if you have the commanding plus and the engine you will see both systems or well, you can go to, I don't know, Volvo Penta. You can connect, you can see multiple systems, okay? If you go, what happens if you go to, uh, a, I don't know, a Cummins engine where, and they use their smart craft technology and they have the DTS, are you going to see the DTS and the engine? No, because you connect it, you know, from different diagnostic support, okay? But anyway, system scan is very useful and you can just click it and go ahead and see if it's available. Okay, so let's do a quick demo with this, as I told you before. Or you have your C image here. So you can click here, you will see the different options so you can recognize uh, what type of levers you have. Same thing with the Hellmaster, okay? And with the Commanding Plus, very simple. You can connect. Uh, we have actually a vlog explaining how to connect to the Commanding Plus and how to do the reset, okay? Um, so you can just go to our YouTube channel, see this video, okay? System data, and then we have calibration, which is the most important, well, the, the only thing we have, calibration, lever control system reset, accept. That was the extra mode code. I just clicked it super fast. Okay, here you have expert. Every time you want to do something that requires to write on the ECM, you need that extra mode code. It's totally free. You can request it from your uh, customer area in our website that way you can have control if you have different technicians who is capable of doing those advanced functionalities and who is not able to do it okay so whoever is the administrator of the tool will be able to have control of that you don't have the extra remote code still you can do your um, you know full codes reading um, you know see your life measurements um, system checks active components and all that okay Again, as I told you before, uh, when we're doing a functionality, we have three steps. Step one, what we're about to do, okay? So we tell you more information that can be useful. You click check. You have step two, initial conditions, lever control system, reset, the engine must be stopped, uh, et cetera, okay? And if, obviously, are you sure you want to reset the system, okay? If, if it's connected you don't need to do it okay so just if you need to do it it's unpaired okay we we'll click accept and that's it now it tells you what to do disconnect the main power supply and remove the wire harness of the engine to which are connected 
Search harness located below the control levers. Replace the previously removed cable harness. When the main switch is activated, the lever control seal will be identified automatically. Okay, then just need to uh, wait for 20 seconds. Uh, we always, when you have switch off, um, disconnected. Okay, so uh, you know you can use this single clock or just um, use your you know your watch or your cell phone. And that's it. Calibration process completed. So it's very simple. It's much more simple than just you know than doing the DTS. It's like a pairing, and that's it. But it's an advanced functionality, very useful, and we need to do this for our customers. Okay, so now let's click disconnect Hellmaster. Okay, now if I want to connect to this, it takes us to those technical releases. Okay, technical releases are part of technical information. We click connect, and it's going to open a document. We have system data, we have calibration. For example, if you're connected to the EVC technology from Bovo Penta, the electronic vessel control, you know, we have, you know, from A to E2, uh, it's same thing. You're being able to change parameters and do your calibrations, but it's being performed manually. We give you access to those technical releases, okay? And you need, obviously, the .x promo code, because even if you're using some releases some documents you are writing on the ECM, okay? So you can see this, that is part of the technical information. We tell you what to do um, step by step, okay? Keep press the joystick button until the message joystick calibration start appears on the display. Uh, move joystick to this one to the other. It's very simple, just follow the steps and you get your task done, okay? Okay, so I'm done with this. Let's go back to your to the port point again. Uh, watercraft, okay, jet skis. I would say again that um, jet ski or little, I would put it at the same level as a C2BRP in this case. Again, all the manufacturers, all the engines are manufactured by Yamaha. Same thing as before, ECMs are manufactured by Mitsubishi just for them. We have the EFI's four stroke engines and the right braking system okay so it's multi-system here as well and we have the um, the hos and shos are the most powerful models uh v1s uh is the most economic you know with three cylinders normally uh, all the yamaha whatever have, have four cylinders okay uh we have uh yeah but it's almost an extinction uh we can find two stroke all you know jet skis but they're purely mechanical Okay, here we have less options on the ECMs like uh, compared to the outboard, but uh, I just put three, for example, and same thing, same communication protocol, same diagnostics connector, same cable. So things are easy with, with Yamaha. Um, okay, so I will just do an example with the FX Cruiser SVHO, which is quite powerful. You have three sets. And remember, although Jatis will tell you, um, you have like 10 seconds uh, from you have you have the kill switch and you press the the green button. Okay, if not, you're gonna lose contact. You have to do it again. Okay, that's something that uh, has to be done with with Yamaha. Okay, so well, this is the diagnosis report from from the previous session. You can just click yes. You can add this to a specific customer vessel. You can put your diagnosis cost comments, etc. I'm just gonna save it. You can just you don't have to to save it. And here, do you see you want to synchronize with the GRP model? I will say no. Okay, like if I don't have internet right now, and you can then go to the GRP and and access uh, all that. Okay, so watercraft. Here you can click into Yamaha. Then we have. Um, I don't remember exactly what was the example we we're going to use. Okay. SVHO right, will be exactly pretty much the same. You know, the worth connecting. You click here, you have do those two systems. You can also perform the SISCAN scan, as I told you before. Actually, I'm going to do the example. Well, here you have the connector diagnostic board, the cable you need, and you click scan. The good thing of um, Perform the system scan is that you can see in the same screen the different systems that you have available in before even accessing 
any of those systems, you will know you have active fault codes and you will have all that gadget diagnostics, okay? So this is pretty nice. So you can have a big picture of, of what's going on with your jet ski, okay? So let me do an example with the engine first. Okay, I click here. As I, as I told you before, before continue, it's necessary to press the start button, you know, the, the way I told you before, you need to click this with your kill switch on, and you, then you have your 10 seconds, you know, it's connected. Now we access, same thing as before, you can read your fault codes, same thing as before, you have your um, studies of your code, you have your code, description, you have your free stream data, you have your help and components of the fault, you can see the information about the component, okay, image of the component, you have the location, images, operational values, core supply, tuning tools, etc. Okay, then you can click here, we go directly to the wiring diagrams, same thing, so it's the same process. So you're going to get very comfortable with the tool. Um, we're talking about Yamaha, that we can go ahead and talk about, you know, do our job with Mercury, Evan, Ruth, whatever all the brand, and you're gonna get comfortable pretty easy. Well, here we have again left and right, we have our components, and in the middle we have our the ECM with the pinos. Okay. Well, let's go back to the diagnostics menu. Well, we have our focal troubleshooting, we have also our troubleshooting by symptoms. I don't want to spend too much time because I've just explained this uh, before. But same thing, your step one, step two, step three, step four. Okay. Here for data, system data, engine operation hours, your RPM ranges. You have your live data. I'm not going to show that. I showed that before. Active components, you know, it's activate, deactivate. Same thing. System checks, you can perform your cylinder cutouts. I just did that example before. Now we're in jet ski, okay. Parameters, we can do our key learning uh, or remote uh, recordings and all that, okay. So uh, we have this available, and actually we have a VLOG with Yamaha, and with Kawasaki, and with Sidu. So if you want to do your key recording, you can do this. Again, if you click here, you're gonna have your technical releases because you have to do it manually and perform your test. I, if you're interested, to go to our YouTube channel and you have a VLOG for that. That are recorded, same thing, okay? So do your sheet trials. All your taking information, same thing as before. Same structure, as I showed that with the Albor, I don't wanna do it right now, so we save some time. Then I will go ahead and connect to the breaking system, which at the end is the gate. Here the most important things, you know, besides your fault codes and everything, is your calibration, your gate decision. I think that we have also, I don't know if it's a vlog or a case study, but we have material explaining this as well. Step one, what we're about to do, you know, if you have changed the the component or it has been hit and it's, you know, it's not calibrated and all that, you need to perform this functionality, okay? Get decision. Okay, you go ahead. And well, the calibration process completed. Okay, so it's very simple. As you can see, it's an all systems diagnostic tool. It's not just uh, the engine. Okay. Um, real quick before going back to the the PowerPoint GRP. Okay, so the GRP is the management tool. GRP is a garage resource planning. Uh, you will be able to create your customer list, uh, your vessel list. Okay, from all your customers access all your reports. You have different levels of GRPs, okay. Okay, you can create your customer list, your your vessel list. Um, you can access all your reports, okay. You can assign work orders, access your task, um, create reception forms. Okay, you can also create the different login IDs and with different user types, okay? So it's very complete. If you're a small company that you don't have a management tool, that's you know very convenient because you can use all the capabilities, but if you're a big company or big enough company, 
you can still access all your reports, create different users for your technicians, and you can access you know, the information of all your customers and their vessels, okay? We have different levels of GRP that are all free, okay? Uh, GRP Sync allows you to install this in up to three devices and connect them on the same network. And if you want to have all these functionalities, just need to contact us at your customer support uh, email uh, from us, okay? With your cell number, email, you know, company and all that, and we'll, we're going to activate all this, okay? This is made this way because normally this is meant for those customers that have more than one Jaltes unit, okay? So they can connect it in the same network, even if they're using two different Jaltes units. And seriously, I think we're the only uh, diagnostic tool that's, that provides such capabilities like that, no? being able to connect all your laptops or your time network and share all that information. And well, contact details uh, by phone, by email, we can do remote assistance. You have the Jaltis feedback, okay? So let's go back to the presentation. Coming soon, okay? So we're pretty much up to date. Uh, some small details, for example, uh, for the engines that are higher than 300 horsepower hours, uh, the trim calibration and flywheel reset, we're uh, working on that. So it's gonna be uh, most probably in the next version. Also the multifunction meter. This is being done with technical releases, but as you may know, when you do your uh, oil maintenance uh, resets, you have to perform with your diagnostics tool, so you let your uh, ECM know that you have done it, but also with the display, okay? So we're gonna add this uh, pretty soon. Okay, so additional information, okay? More about, you know, Jalta, some numbers, updates, how we work, etc. okay? On the on the Jaltas Marine side, these are the numbers, the current numbers. Uh, we have just turned into the 21.2 version. Okay, uh, we have three versions every year. At the moment, we have 73 brands, um, 1,343 models, almost 4,000 systems. You know, uh, wind diagrams, troubleshooting guides. Okay, so it's very complete, and we are always in constant development. Okay. We expect growth every four months. New brands, new models, new systems, new diagrams, okay? It's very strict. We have more than 200 engineers working on the project, okay? And they're separated in different departments. So uh, we have our own marine department with their own schedules and objectives and, and you know, everything, agenda, priorities, all that, okay? So it's not that... Uh, you will, will have updates one year, one month, and then the other one you won't have it. Okay, so we're very strict. Every four months, it's great, great growth. Okay, uh, the equipment. So we work with this. We have three parts. Uh, we have the hardware. This is the basic kit with your link interface, your multi pins, and all that. Then you have your software and license. We have five different software configuration. I'm going to explain that in just a few slides. Okay, uh, if you don't renew the license. Does it shut down? No, you will be able to use all your diagnostics functionalities until the last version paid, but obviously you won't get the updates and you won't have priority on the customer support, okay? We have optional uh, uh, products, for example, the, the laptop, which is the only thing we don't manufacture. And we have a lot of cables. That's why they're all optionals. We have, um, you know, customized or kits, you know, cable kits, you know, individual cables, you know, every technician has different needs. That's why we have customized uh, the optional cables, you know, differently, one by one. Get in contact with us or with your distributor so they can suggest what cables you need. Windows-based platform, either tablet or or, or laptop, or, uh, yeah, tablet or laptop. And, you know, what is mandatory, enough space on the hard drive. And if you want to use the Bluetooth communication, because we have Bluetooth communication, you need to have that Bluetooth capabilities. This is our approach, our business model. Uh, we believe that uh, it's what is better to have multiple license, different expiration dates, different link interface, different laptops with their showers installed. Um, maybe you are not able to access all those OEM tools because you're not a dealer, or is it more convenient? And we obviously believe that it, that is the reality that is more convenient to have just one tool, one license, one expiration date, one customer support, one software layout for all the brands, okay? 
this is how it has been doing with other industries like for example commercial vehicle uh 10 years ago everything was oem right now everything um and even the theaters is all mix okay it's going to happen the same thing with ag with a highway with marine uh in marine the all mix tools you could find some but mostly on the gasoline side american brands so the diesel uh, sector was not satisfied or or having a complete platform for all the brands you need uh, was not satisfied and and again it's much better to just go ahead and go with just one platform because it's going to be more uh, cost efficient and time efficient and you're going to generate more income uh, we have I have divided this into slides just to let you know what do we cover. This is more on the recreational side, like for example jet skis. On the inboard side, we have jet boats, your strain drive, your you know general inboard with your propellers, some inflatable inboards. On the outboard side, we can have you know our outboards and inflatable outboards. We can have also some bracing uh, brands on the inboard and outboard side. And this just in case if you're interested on the industrial commercial side, work side. You know, you can use it, especially for the diesels, like for example, mega yachts, you know, cargo ships, if they have electronic control units, you know, their engines, stationary engines, you know, for uh, gen sets, compressor, hydraulic pumps, water pumps, tugboats, fishing boats, you know, coast guards, vessels, auxiliary vessels, military ships, okay? So we can pretty much cover any vessels and any need, okay? If we have an electronic control unit. As I said before, we have five different configuration. This is the full software kit with inboard, outboard, jet skin, stationary engines. This is the boat software kit with inboard and outboard, just inboard, just outboard, and just jet ski. Okay. Uh, how can you upgrade your business? Okay, you can see this in or uh, how I see it is in two different ways. You can use this as your first tool because you didn't have another diagnostics tool and you need one to, to get the job done or you want to start your uh maintenance shop etc or you can see this as a second tool because you already have all the tools maybe you're a dealer but you need another tool for some uh, type of task or to upgrade your business i'm going to give some argument as a first tool you know if if it's your own um, vessel fleet you can save time you won't rely on others you will save money obviously you can do things on your own or if you're a technician you will be able to generate income because you are able to provide more uh, service okay and get the th the job done uh, faster okay OEM restrictions in most of the cases in marine if you're not a dealer you're not you don't have access to the OEM tool um, mobile repair much more convenient to just go with one tool instead of to go with several tools and not even knowing if you're able to have coverage for what you need same thing for surveyors and well extend the life of your engines or your customer's engine with your preventive uh, maintenance task as a second tool you can be a dealer you can have another tool but uh you need more coverage or you need a better platform okay so you can expand your business with that uh, meet your customer needs this is very important okay so if you have a customer with different type of brand and models and you just cover some of the brands and not the others what is going to happen first you're going to lose a job uh or potential job taken your customer will have to contact different technicians or maybe he will just contact one that's capable of doing maintenance for all the brands and models they have okay uh restricted use of the oem you know can happen uh, i oem manufacturer um you're a dealer yes you can have the oem diagnostic yes but you're restricted to just one if you need more tools you know you cannot purchase the OEM tool again, so you can go ahead and purchase job test. Better user experience. I'm very, very sure even if you're a dealer that you use our tool, you're gonna use our tool and not the OEM tool. And you have all those extra features I just showed, you want surveying here always uh, also is very important. Potential customers, pretty much anyone that um, wants to provide their own solutions they want to have all the resources um, they want to provide uh, the solutions at their own time uh, and different type of customers like end users okay you have your uh, own mega yard okay you have your engine side or you have your own boats okay you're the end user you can be an independent technician or a dealer okay or you know you're an offshore service company 
you know, the military public side, shipyards, service, con uh, ser service concession contract companies, we have customers in all those categories. And while we're better on the competition, as a sum up, you know, coverage, we have 73 brands covered. Um, we have four different models and five different configurations, so we can adapt ourselves to the customer needs and budget. Uh, we're very good in diesels because uh, so far you can find some things for gasolines, but not for diesel. We have a faster, more stable communication than um, than a lot of competitors, even OEMs. User-friendly platform, USA-based customer support, a level of expertise. Okay, we have been in the diagnostics industry for 21 years so far. And now, um, you know, we have just recently, a few days ago, launched the material handling equipment project. Uh, the same thing we did with with marine, with ag, with a highway. We come from the commercial vehicle side. We had so much success that we had diversified in other industries, and we have that level of expertise and know-how. And we even manufacture for other companies, even OEM. Okay, in constant evolution, the only one-stop solution with all those extra features, and that's why we believe we compete in another level. Award always good to have recognition. Okay, and the last show we could have. Um, you know, before the pandemic, we received the uh, IBEX Innovation Awards in our category. So it's always good to have all this recognition. We're going to be here as well again on the IBEX show. It's going to be the last week of uh, September. And also for those workboat users, um, technicians, all that, we're going to be in New Orleans the first week of December for the workboat show. Customer support, okay, very important. As I said before, uh, we have different uh, ways to be uh, reached. We are also available in most of the uh, holidays, okay, with minimum services. Training, our distributors do a pretty good job on this, but you know, this is part of the training with all those vlogs, webinars. You can access our YouTube channel. We have a lot of them, and we're doing more and more. Um, we have some e-learning courses and you know anything you need, you can just uh, go ahead with a specific thing. You just call the customer support team and you ask whatever you need and we try to support you, okay? So uh, thank you very much uh, for being here. I don't know if uh, you have questions. If you do so, uh, you just need to open the, the little chat. You have the question area in the chat. Either two of them, you can just, you know, put your question if you have. Otherwise, as I told you before, you can always contact us here, customer support at jaltas.com or by phone. We have also the toll free number and anything you need, you just ask us. Well, if we, you don't have questions, um, we're going to upload this video in our social media platforms and Anyone who has registered the, the webinar and it's not here at the moment, do not worry, you're gonna receive an email with the link so you can view it, okay? So thank you very much, everyone, and see you next time. Thank you.